Alright guys, we're back with episode 18 of Big Brother 26. Episode just ended and I am incredibly sad because if y'all been watching me, y'all know that Brooklyn was my number one favorite on episode one and two. She was also my winner pick, I think. I don't know if I ever said that on camera, but she was my winner pick because she was my favorite and I just wanted her to win and I'm just sad that she left. She was definitely like... Entertaining, especially in the past few episodes, she really came into her own. I don't know. I feel like she got a bad rep. I, I we'll get on to it. We'll get on to it though. But we start this episode off with the fallout of the veto ceremony. So Tucker just called everyone out, and now he goes to put his little case up with the keys or whatever, the veto thing up. And Chelsea is like, really, Joseph? Really, Quinn? And Joseph's like, no, that was not me. I did not do that. And <laughs> I think Quinn did, too. I don't know. But they kind of started to go back and forth a little bit. And then Tucker came back out, and he just starts barking. And no one says anything. And this is the part where I, like I said last episode, I don't understand how everyone likes Tucker so much. Because he is like, he's the top of the house right now. He's leading this. He's, he's a comp beast that's also everyone scared of. No one even, like, he comes out and he starts barking and no one even stands up to him. No one stands up to Tucker except Quinn. I guess Quinn is the only one that stands up to Tucker, but then he just gets, like, barked on. It's like, he doesn't, like, none of these people, like, everyone's scared of Tucker. And it's like, he's about to steamroll, it seems like he's steamrolling through the house. Because after this scene, we see Cam, a scene with Cam, and he's talking about, oh, I'm about to rebuild my alliances. And he wants to align with Tucker. So it's like... <laughs> Who is going to take Tucker out? Tucker is aligned with eight people in this house. Well, he's number eight. So, seven people in this house. And then the people he's not aligned with are like Chelsea. And like Chelsea said, that she doesn't even want to go after Tucker. Because we see a scene with her and Rubina. Where she's gaining Rubina's trust. And Rubina, she says she wants to take out Quinn. Oh, Chelsea says she wants to take out Quinn and Joseph. Because they wronged her. So, it's like... <laughs> Who is going after Tucker? Who like I like him, he's entertaining. But it's like I like a back and forth game. <laughs> and he hasn't been in trouble at all. Like he has he got a, a vote against him? like even if Quinn tries to get Tucker out, he doesn't have the numbers. It's like nothing can happen. And it's, I don't see anyone going after him at this point. So it's kinda like it's kinda frustrating because it's like uh, like, when you hear Brooklyn's speech and everything made sense and it didn't turn anyone, but I feel like in Big Brother you can't turn anyone. But I'm getting way ahead. Uh, let's get back to where we were. Chelsea talks to Quinn, right? And Quinn says that it wasn't him and yada yada. They make up. Chelsea's doing a good job of campaigning and like, proving to be a great player and the fact that they probably should have got her out. <laughs> like, but uh, she also talks to Rubina and Rubina, t -Core, Chemo, and they want to keep Chelsea, but it's like they don't even know if she's going to be on the block yet. And they're doing all this to keep her. Again, this is just proving why she's the better player and she should have been the one voted out because everyone likes her and everyone wants her to stay. And we see Brooklyn versus Tucker. They didn't really show a lot of this, and I was actually looking forward to seeing this because I know that they got loud with each other, and I, I haven't seen it. I've only heard about it from the spoilers that I watched. So, But nothing really big came out of this, Tucker versus Brooklyn, like... Tucker just keeps blaming her for everything, and she's right. What has she done? Because I'm trying to figure out what has she done. What has she actually done to be considered a mastermind or, like, the, the leader or anything? She hasn't done anything. Like, she hasn't won anything. Like she said in her interview, like, I haven't won. I can't even win a competition. And her diary rooms and out loud, she, she sounds like a boss, which is why I liked her in the beginning, where she says, like, I'm going to win this. I'll see you after I win this. And then she doesn't. <laughs> she doesn't do anything. Like, she wanted to get Rubina out last, yeah, last week, and she couldn't even do that. So, I don't know. What what has she done? Then we see this scene with Tucker and Mackenzie. It was just weird. Where they were in the bed, and t -Core walked in and said, food's ready, and they go to go get food. First of all, I think in Big Brother, it's weird that everyone goes on the HOH bed in general. Like, uh, there will be scenes on Big Brother, not just this season, where, like, two people will be on the HOH bed, and it's not even the HOH. And they just be laid out with their clothes on, like, in this bed. Like, it's it's weird to me. Like, but I've never been in Big Brother house, so, but I always find that weird. Uh, but then we, like, I guess they tried to sell us on the fact that the 
was it Sixth Avenue people are noticing that Tucker spends a lot of time with Mackenzie, Cam, Leah. Yeah, no crap. He spends a lot of time with them. Tucker, every he has everyone. He yes, he's in alliance with them. He's in alliance with everyone. No one's taking him out. Like so, Sixth Avenue is him and five other people, right? And then he's also super cool with Cam, which is weird because he just put Cam up, but he never had intentions on getting Cam out. Then he's also, yeah, super close with Leah and Mackenzie. That's eight. Then he's himself, so that's nine right there. And then, like, I guess Quinn, like, Quinn says he wants to get him out, but Quinn, that will never happen because he doesn't have numbers. And then, like, what, is he just against Chelsea and who else? I'm sure there's more people in the house. I just can't remember them right now. <laughs> so, a lot of this, it was kind of not really purposeful for us to see. It was just the Sixth Avenue people trying to get numbers to keep Chelsea, if it's Chelsea versus Cam on the block. But we didn't even see that happen. So, it wasn't Chelsea and Cam. Spoilers. So, none of that was actually relevant. It's like, they tried to get Quinn. Quinn said, okay. Like, they're doing all this before they even know. So, yeah. No, no, nothing big special about that. Sorry my camera died again. I knew that was coming because I did not delete anything since last review. But anyway, we get to the AI arena. And <laughs> I'm not going to lie. I didn't even hear the title of this. I think, like, BB Description or something like that. I don't know. Like, that's probably so wrong. But <laughs> it's Brooklyn Cam and Chelsea competing. And... Not only did I not hear the name of this competition, but I didn't hear the instructions because I'm like, what is going on? <laughs> like, I see these words floating all around and I'm just like, what? Like, if this is you got to unscramble it, then I would be so lost. I would be horrible at this competition. So the words are just flying all around. They're reading them, trying to unscramble them. Then they go into their little booth and there's a bunch of cardboard cutouts of different things. And there's three different... um. Uh, backgrounds and they have to match the cardboard cutout to the correct background <laughs> they would just go outside look at the little words to unscramble unscramble some put it on their background put a cardboard match the cardboard to their back to the background hopefully I had described that good and I think the word the scramble words got more and more organized as the time went on and I did end up seeing one, once it was all the way shown, that said Unicorn Birthday Forest. So there was a unicorn as one of the cutouts, and uh, one of the backgrounds was a forest. And it looked like the unicorn was celebrating his birthday inside the cutout. So of course you put that on that. And that's the, literally the only one I saw. <laughs> so I knew that the unicorn went on the forest. I knew that one, and then all the rest of them I didn't see. And I was really rooting for Brooklyn. I wanted her to stay. Uh, and I, I think maybe the flip would have happened with Chelsea. So Chelsea would have stayed. I wanted Cam to leave. Cam adds nothing. I'm sorry. I like him as a person. I don't know him as a person. But, like, he, he brings nothing to this show. <laughs> and then he wants to align with Tucker more. So, yes, I would like Brooklyn to freaking keep staying in the house. But Chelsea ended up getting it. Brooklyn was close. But Chelsea ended up getting it. Uh, the cheers were, she got a good pop, I would say. Uh, she got a good amount of cheers, and immediately Brooklyn starts campaigning. And more proof on why I wanted Cam to leave, he didn't even campaign. He just stood there, didn't care. Brooklyn pulls aside Tucker and Chemo. I'm sorry, Chemo and Tikor, because uh, she knows that they're big influence in the house. <laughs> and they just basically were saying that they weren't, like, they weren't budging. I feel like, unfortunately, in Big Brother... People have their mind made up. Like, I don't... I would love to know, like, if there's ever been a time where someone's changed their vote. Because it seems like everyone has their minds made up and what they're going to do is what they're going to do. Then she campaigns in front of everybody. And she just... It was the greatest... One of the best campaign speeches ever. And it wasn't even the actual on-the-block speech. She just said, Tucker, y'all are all competing for second place. I'm the biggest enemy. I'll be on the block every single... Which, I don't know if that's true, Brooklyn, Okay. I don't think you're the biggest enemy in the house. You're Tucker's enemy, but, like, who really... I don't think anyone hated you, Brooklyn. Like, what are you talking about? Leah liked you. Mackenzie liked you. Rubina liked you. Tucker and... Or, I keep calling t -Core Tucker. But, Chemo and t uh, did they Do they hate her? It was, I, was, I don't know. I don't know. 
But it seemed like she had a good amount. Like, Cam, Cam didn't, well, Cam would have been gone at that point. So, Chelsea didn't dislike you. Uh, maybe Angela didn't like you, but I don't know. I don't know. Uh, but her speech, so we didn't even get to the speeches. Uh, Cam's speech was just nothing. It was literally nothing. Like, he just was like, vote Cam. <laughs> and then he's like, oh, wait, to stay. No, please vote you out. Like, I don't, no. He's, same energy. I've seen, like, the Twitter memes or they, like, uh, Cam gives the same energy uh, as, and then it'll be, like, a house guest that was, like, silent or, like, that you forgot about because he is. Like, <laughs> I hope he wins HOH. That's what I'll say. I hope he wins HOH so that he can actually have some something. Like He had that one DR that was pretty funny where he said the Pentagon turned into a square and now it's about to be a triangle and the minute it's about to be a straight line to the dot. I like that. That was funny. I ain't gonna lie. But I would like to see him win HOH and see him take do something. And I know he ain't gonna get Tucker out, but maybe he'll put Tucker on the block. Tucker's gonna get votes no matter what. How could I see Tucker leaving? And then if you put him on the block, he's going to win Vito or AI. So I don't even know. But Brooklyn's speech was cool. Uh, she went after Tucker again. Tucker started kind of talking back, too. And then we get to the votes. And the first person to vote was Chelsea, which I thought that was pretty much smart. She voted to Vic Cam. That was cool to see. I was happy to see that. And then the next person voted out Brooklyn. So then it went to commercial. So it was like a tense, like, uh-oh, one versus one, but then it came back. And the only notable vote, I'll say, is Quinn. Quinn voted Brooklyn out, and I was, like, kind of disappointed. Like, wow, Quinn. Like, I feel like you could have voted for Brooklyn to stay, but he didn't. He voted her out. He could have even voted for her to stay and, like, blame, not said he didn't. But, and who cares? Like, she would have got two votes. So, I was a little disappointed that Cam, or Quinn, voted out. Brooklyn, but whatever, what can you do? Uh, Brooklyn went out very classy. She hugged everybody. Then on her way out, she said, like, now y'all will never know what team my hub and plays for. I don't know what that was about. <laughs> her interview was cool. Um, she's interesting. She wants Quinn to win. She wants Quinn to win this game. Uh, she knew already that Chelsea was the one that voted her to stay. She also made jokes about, like, how was she running the Pentagon, which I agree with. She's like, she didn't even win a competition. Like, she, and Julie told her what Tucker says, like, she was the voice, Chelsea was the brain. She said, that might have been Drew. And I agree, like, Brooklyn wasn't doing anything. No offense to her, I love her. She's my favorite. And then we see the goodbye messages, all pretty much good, nothing bad. It's, you know, Angela brought up the whole cheese and meats thing. <laughs> and Brooklyn said, you, she was at have not. You can't let that go to waste. And it wasn't just her that ate it, but... That's it for this video, guys. I guess we still got to find out who's the AI instigator, if anyone cares about that. Feels like they've been talking about that for two weeks now. Oh, wait, they have. All right, guys. Leave this video a like, comment, subscribe, share it on all forms of social media. Uh, my new favorite on this house. I still like Rubina. She's my first favorite. I just cut out my own intro. But my, Rubina, <laughs> it was my favorite. <laughs> and, uh... I, I guess I really like Quinn. As I have to go against Tucker. I can't, like... He's too good. So I'm I'm rooting for Quentin to be the underdog that actually takes out Tucker somehow. I don't know how he would do it because like I said, if he puts Tucker up, he needs votes. He can't vote if he put him up. But that's it guys. Leave the video a like, comment, subscribe, and share it on all forms of social media. Until next time, catch y'all later.